morning welcome to another edition of the diva show we are coming to you live from tv3 and i love saturdays for very good reasons of course there's so much football on tv and uh, some teams will lose hopefully it's not manchester united so some of you can give me a break um this morning we are talking about a variety of things we are looking at the women's month because we have uh two of the ladies who have been nominated by blisco you know one of them I mean, there are three of them, actually, but two of them are here with us this morning. Um, Anita couldn't make it because she has a speaking engagement this morning. But Aisha and Eugenia, I'll be telling you about them. And you've got to vote for, I wish all three of them will win because they are fantastic, fantastic ladies. Top, top ladies, I must say. Uh, but yes, one of them will take it. But then again, we know that the three of them represent what the Ghanaian woman is looking for or aspiring to be. Also, Kotoko. I have two people from Kotoko. You know how I feel about Kotoko and how to book. Um, I hear Kotoko has set up a committee to investigate Yaya Muhammad. Give me the money. I can give you the report in five minutes. Tell you exactly what went wrong. Uh, we'll also look at the Black Stars and their journey to Brazil and how they'll get to the finals of the World Cup if they will be able to get there. Um, later on, Aisha and Eugenia will answer some football questions. I want to expose them. <laughs> okay, so Aisha Bedwe is here. She's the director of tax at Pricewaterhouse Coopers Ghana Limited. Um, director of tax, you must be extremely intelligent. <laughs> you love numbers, don't you? I do, I do. Yeah? yeah. Is, it, is it very comfortable being there as a woman? It's very comfortable for me, I must say. Mm -hmm. uh, my journey in PwC has been, you know, not without its challenges, but uh, the firm is very supportive and actually has a very good diversity and inclusion program. So we work to ensure that women do make ah. it to the top. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. And then Yao Amos Sapong. Yes. Uh, from Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those I who know me call me energy. Energy. Yes. Why? Why do they? Say you say I You're support the club. Yes, with a lot of enthusiasm, yeah. dedication, and energy. Yeah. So yeah. It's sad your team has no energy in Africa. <laughs> yes, and that's why we are doing the program today to look at some aspects of the club in terms of why we do back out of Africa easily. So we will do a situation analysis today. It's very and simple. We are local champions. No, it's not that simple. I mean, when black stars qualify mm -hmm. for Africa, mm -hmm. you see a lot of sponsors coming in. Rice Master coming in. You have the Ghana Petroleum Agencies coming in to support them, give them money. And when uh, Kotoko qualifies for Africa, you don't see these uh, corporate institutions coming in because to give us support. Because you're not creative. That's it's simple it. as that. Yes, so we want to be creative now. And this time around, we want to get more corporate sponsorship so that we can go to Africa and perform. Because to do a round trip in Africa costs a lot of money. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nana Sefa is also with him from Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Mm. You're leading now, right? You're on the table, top oh, yeah. of the table. Oh, yeah. And Heart of Oak is even struggling to catch yeah. up. Mm. Heart of Oak. Mm. The least said about them, the better. Why? Heart of Oak. Mm -hmm. Let me resolve. Oh, no, you speak. Say whatever you want to say about us. I'll defend them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, Kotoko, as you said, is on top of the league, and we are winning back to back. And trust me, there is no way. Next season we are going to win. The next season we are going. So we are going to win. Win. The, you said we are local champions, right? Yeah. We we appreciate that we are local champions. But trust me, with Kumasi Asante Kotoko faithfuls, we are going to Africa, and we will win African Cup. We saw you against some small team in Liberia. You are sitting here talking plenty. You couldn't even beat that team, BYC of Liberia. Is that the yeah. team? Yeah. 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 And you claim you're the champions. In yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are the African club of the century too. Don't yeah. forget. Yes. Next to Manchester. I'm also yes. a Manchester fan. Yes. And he's yeah. Don't even Manchester compare Kotoko. No, we are not comparing. We are not comparing. Yeah. Okay. Manchester is a club of the century in um, yeah. Europe. And Kumasi Asante Kotoko, club of the century in Africa. So yeah. compared to where we are. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's laughable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you know about football? I know a little. Um, I'm not really into football myself, but you know, one can't help it being a Ghanaian. Yeah. You know, you hear what people say, you, you have ideas, you, you have an idea what's going on, but yeah. maybe not as detailed as these football fanatics exactly. here. <laughs> Who's your favorite player? Where? 
in Ghana, in the Black Stars. In the Black Stars? Yeah. Okay, based on what? Oh, um, based everything. on Based on looks or based on... <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> I shall like you already. Okay, based on looks. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Um, I think, um, what's his name? Dede. Dede are you? He's cute. Okay, so, so yes, maybe he's... maybe based on looks, but I think so the mentality too also has something. Okay. And yeah. uh, based on technicalities on the, the pitch? I think Dede Ayu is also quite good. I've seen him play with um, Prince Kevin Boateng, and I think the two of them have something, you know, together. They have some telepathy, as some people say, you know, how yeah. to work the ball. So, yeah. yeah. So Dede Ayu is your favorite player? I think so. I, I think I would say so, yeah. Okay, and which one is your favorite team? What, in the world? Yes. I don't think I have a favorite team, Nana, but honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but in Ghana? In Ghana, uh, maybe I'll be with you and say hats of book. Hats of book. Uh, Actually, I'm not a hats fan. Really? <laughs> I don't like both teams. Hats of so you, But then hats of book. I love like every team that beats hats of book. Oh, Kotoko. I see. I yeah. see. Okay. Yeah. So the friend of your enemy is your friend. Thank you, Aisha. <laughs> Thank you. I love you already. Thank you. So, um, you know, what's accounting for your success this season in the yeah. local league? I mean, yeah. we've seen. How to folk falter and struggle. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The reason why Kotoko has been successful since last two seasons is that we have kept a consistent team and we have given them a lot of motivation thanks to our sponsors. Motivation? Yes. Some of the players claim they haven't been paid for two months. You're here talking about motivation. How's that? Uh, it's not true. We don't owe any player in terms of salary. For winning bonuses, yes, it might be true. Because Motivation. For, for the salaries are paid by MTN directly to the players. So that sponsorship package is there. And like I said, when you go to Africa, it, you incur a lot of cost. If you take, say, a 30-man uh, contingency or contingent team to Africa and to even Liberia alone, you'll be thinking about $100,000 for the round trip. And a team like Kotoko not having so much money will drain our coffers. So to get winning bonuses for the players will be a bit of a problem but let's so they are not properly aside. motivated they are highly motivated because we have players who receive the highest salaries in the country at the moment and we have the players who receive the highest in terms of enticement fees in the country we have players who receive prompt payments in the country and we have players, we have players who have been denied winning bonuses Yes, but we have clubs who have denied their players several months of winning bonuses. So if, for instance, a month or two we don't pay because we have to pay from the stadium proceeds. And if people or supporters don't attend our matches, we don't get that kind of money to pay. But notwithstanding, our players are highly motivated to win when they have to win. But in Africa, it's a different ball game altogether. Okay. That's why we are trying to do the situation analysis. That, that's very interesting. Um, Nana, yeah. what's accounting for your success? Um, your players are just motivated and they are ready to win the league again. Yeah, yeah as he, he said, motivation. And a club like Kotoko, I think every player in Kotoko is natural born Kotoko fan. <laughs> so they just give all out to play for the team. That's why. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yaya Mohammed. He was born a Kotoko fan. He gives us all to the team. Mm -hmm. He abandoned you. He went to Libya. He didn't even inform you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's, they are naturally born Kotoko <laughs> fans, aren't they? Yeah, as for Yaya's issue, um, I would say there were some... He was. He, he isn't naturally born. He was, but <laughs> <laughs> as human behavior, sometimes when you're looking for something and you don't get it, sometimes you try to prove that I was looking for this and you do not give it to me, so I'm going to show you. Okay. I said, you know, Yaya Muhammad. No, I don't. Sorry, uh, I'm lost here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can tell yeah, Aisha. Yaya Muhammad yeah. is one of our most prolific players, mm -hmm. and he's one of our. Um, versatile players. He can play in the midfield, he can play as a striker, he can play behind the strikers, and he can distribute balls and score goals. Um, with the IS issue, I wouldn't want to comment because there is a committee now set up to investigate. She wants to know. So what, what, happened? What, what happened was that, yes, after he played for Ghana in the Chan Championship in uh, South Africa, mm -hmm. a lot of clubs were interested in signing him on. Right. A lot of clubs in Libya, South Africa, and elsewhere. And I think 
that he also wanted to play for Kotoko and we couldn't come to an understanding with him. Mm -hmm. So because of that, he decided to travel out and do the illegality. But I wouldn't want to comment much about what he did. I'm happy yeah. he left you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so happy. Okay, Aisha, let's talk about the, the Black Stars in Brazil. You followed the South Africa yes, 2010 tournament. Okay, this time we're in Brazil. What are your expectations of the team? Um, I Do you think we can win it? Um, I think we stand a chance. Mm -hmm. um, the last time in, in South Africa, we came close, you know, and I don't see why we can't improve upon what we did the last time because mm -hmm. every opportunity is one that you should take to improve upon what you did the last time. So I think we stand a chance. We should make the most of it, honestly. Okay. That's what I think. Have you seen the teams in our group? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're in Group G with uh, Germany, Portugal, and USA. Okay. And I'm sure you know the Portuguese yes, team. The Portuguese and the Germans will be tough. USA, I'm not worried. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. We've beaten USA many times. Wow. Yeah. They, ha they have a I new coach. Yeah. They have a new coach now. Football is not their forte. You know, they are American football and basketball. basketball you know, football is what we do. So I, I, I'm not too worried about the USA. But Germany, Portugal, yeah. I yeah? think we need to be. What, what are your careful. fears? against Portugal, for instance, if the Black Stars come up against Portugal. What's your biggest fear? Well, that we'll lose. I mean, yeah. It's <laughs> simple. Yeah? yeah? Do you think we can beat Germany? It will be tough because the little I know, once again, I don't know much, but the little I know about German football is that it's very skillful, it's very technical, you know, it's, it's like what everything they do, they do well. You know, they make Mercedes-Benz excellent. Mm -hmm. They do football excellent. So I think, once again, we need to be really mindful when we are playing against them. So. Um, I think that's the point you're trying to raise yes. to me, that look at who's in our group yes, uh, yes. <laughs> and revise what you're saying. Maybe we don't stand a chance. <laughs> no, but you're, but you're not worried at all. Ghana will go through. I think we can. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think I we think will we can, go yeah. through. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty easy group. You don't agree? What do you think? Yeah, I think we will, we will scale through. <laughs> the, 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 the trump card that we have are our two coaches. Our two coaches serve as a motivator mm -hmm. to the team. And for a long time, Ghana had not beaten Egypt. And they were beating us back to back, taking trophies from us and so on and so forth. But during the qualification, yeah. Egypt was pegged against Ghana to be the only one of the teams to qualify. Mm -hmm. But we stood our grounds and scored them 6-1, yeah, their highest defeat in Africa. Mm -hmm. To score Egypt 6-1 means you can face up and square up with any team in the world. Really? And yes, mm -hmm. because Egypt traditionally are highly motivated. They have a very high sense of uh, winning. And I don't think even Brazil can come down and score Egypt 6-1. Let me ask a question. Why do you think they are so... Why, what makes them highly motivated? Because the team is made up of uh, three departments. There is the technical department made up of the coaches. There is the playing body made up of the players and there is the management and if you look at all these three departments the most motivated and the most experienced one is the coach mm -hmm. that is coach Akwesiapia and coach Maso Kunadu. and this evening we will be giving them special awards at our program and to be very honest with you these are some of the finest men we have in Ghana as far as football coaching is concerned. And you think um, a, a Ghanaian coach will take us very far, right? Yes, yeah. a Ghanaian I mean, the, coach. The experts haven't really done so no, much for us. No, no, no. no. no you want to comment on that before we take our first bit? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, as she said, Kwesi, Apia, and Maso, they are going to do marvelous in the World Cup. Trust me, he will be the first African to win the World Cup. And we don't need Amen. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that one. Aisha, you know Kosiapia, don't you? Yeah. The cook. Yes. Okay, I'm proud of you. <laughs>